Well, that was easy. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today I'm gonna show you how to make your next go-to shrimp tacos. Everything about this is good and you are gonna love the shrimp taco sauce, so let's get started. You'll need one pound of medium or large raw shrimp. These have been peeled, deveined, and patted dry with paper towels. Season that with half a teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. Then press in one garlic clove. Stir that together to combine, then place a large skillet over medium high heat and add one tablespoon of olive oil. Once the oil is hot, add the shrimp in a single layer and saute for about two minutes per side or just until the shrimp is cooked through. You'll know the shrimp are done when you see some pink and red accents on the outsides and they're opaque and white on the inside. Because shrimp can easily be overcooked, as soon as they're cooked through, transfer them to a separate plate. Set those aside to cool down slightly while you prep the rest of the taco ingredients. This recipe makes about eight to 10 shrimp tacos, so you'll need approximately two cups of thinly shredded purple cabbage. And you'll love the crunch, color, and flavor the purple cabbage adds to these tacos. Also, finely dice half of a red onion. I love using red onion for this because it's sweet and not overpowering while still adding that great onion flavor. It's fun to serve shrimp tacos off of a platter because everyone can build their own, so I'm adding the ingredients onto the same platter as the shrimp. I love squeezing some fresh lime juice onto my tacos at the end, so I'm cutting one lime into eight wedges. Add those to your platter, then dice up one large avocado, and I'm gonna show you how to peel an avocado. Start by cutting it in half the lawn ways in the center, then use a knife to remove the pit and carefully take that pit off of the knife with a paper towel. Cut each half into quarters and just peel off the skin. It should come right off if you have a ripe avocado. Slice up that avocado and of course add it to your serving platter. Also, you'll need one fourth bunch of fresh cilantro. Coarsely chop that up and we'll use that as a garnish for our tacos. Now our favorite cheese for shrimp tacos is Mexican Cotija cheese. Grate that on the large holes of a box grater and put it in a ramekin on your platter. We use four ounces or one cup of Cotija cheese, and I know that's generous, but it is so good. Now I'm gonna show you a few different ways that you can toast your tortillas. I'm using small white corn tortillas that are six inches in diameter. You can toast them over the flame of a gas stove on medium low heat, turning with tongs every 10 seconds or until the edges are lightly charred. Just watch those closely because they can burn fast. You can also toast them on a dry griddle or a dry skillet. All right, everything is ready to build the perfect taco, but the very best part, okay, so we've got the shrimp and all the toppings, but just my favorite part. Okay, you're gonna love this. All right, I'm excited. This is the same sauce that we use on our famous fish tacos and it works perfectly for these shrimp tacos. So all you need is one third cup of sour cream. One third cup of real mayo. And this stuff is so good that we often just double the recipe because these are some well-loved tacos. <laughs> all right, and then one and a half tablespoons of fresh lime juice. And use fresh, because that'll give you the best flavor. Let's give that a squeeze. And this is our very favorite citrus squeezer. I will link to this in the notes. It's the only one that hasn't broken in a really long time. <laughs> and the lime juice makes this crema sauce just so fresh and vibrant. Okay, it's about one and a half tablespoons-ish. 
the more the better. <laughs> and then 3 fourths teaspoon of garlic powder and 3 fourths teaspoon of sriracha hot sauce. And you can add that to taste. Add less if you like it more mild, more if you like it spicy. <laughs> just depends on if the kids are eating it or not, right? <laughs> okay, and then just whisk that together. That's all there is to it. It is so easy. It is the best shrimp taco sauce. Okay, and then you can just serve it with a spoon right over your tacos. You can put it in a little Ziploc bag and squirt it over your tacos, but my favorite way is this little squeeze bottle. And I'll link to this. They're so inexpensive, but way fun. And if you're smart and used a bowl to mix with a pouring lip, you could just pour it right in, but to contain our mess, we're gonna use a funnel. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wobbly. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, and you could make it ahead. Winning. <laughs> And now we're gonna build the perfect fish taco. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so arrange your tortillas on the platter. Open them up a little bit. And I know this is serving for four, but when my husband and I get to these, it's the two of us that can wolf down the entire batch. <laughs> so I start with a little bit of that purple crunchy cabbage. That's really good flavor and bulks these up in a healthy way. All right, and then a little sprinkle of onion. Again, just that freshness in the tacos. Then we're going to add the shrimp. And I like to do three shrimp per taco, and that should give you about eight tacos. This cannot happen fast enough. <laughs> so hungry. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Okay, and then avocado. Lots of avocado. Okay, and some fresh cilantro. And again, a generous amount. A squeeze of lime juice. Yum. And if you want to make this taco platter ahead, squeeze some lime juice over the avocado so that it doesn't brown. But you can make this hours in advance, which is awesome. And of course, lots of cheese. I love this Cotija cheese because it has that mild, lightly salty flavor that is perfect for tacos. We use the same cheese in our fish tacos. And last but not least, the sauce. My favorite part, I could just drink this. I won't, but I want to. <laughs> okay, here we go. Drizzle this on again generously. See how easy that squirt bottle makes it? Love it, love it. So fun, makes it feel more like dining out. Now that is what I call shrimp tacos. And we are ready for this taste test. I cannot wait any longer, so let's do this. All right, get in my belly. <laughs> Jumbo sized. Okay, here we go. Mmm. 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 Ah, uh, and look inside. This is so delicious. I love the crisp cabbage in there. It just tastes so fresh. And then the cilantro and red onion. Oh, it makes these so light and yummy. And the sauce just ties it all together. Oh, I like to use a lot of sauce. I'm not gonna lie, it's really good. <laughs> and then also, just before serving, add another squeeze of lime juice. I have to eat these so fast because I want them so bad. <laughs> and I'm gonna go and love these tacos. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me and we'll see you in our next episode.